Can you hear me? Okay, good. Before we start, uh, I'm so glad that you're all here. A few um, things that we ask your help with. They've already did a performance this morning for the elementary school, and they did a great job. But I'm not lying to you, they are enormously nervous. So I'm going to ask your help. As much as you may be tempted, please do not call and wave to them. It makes them very, very nervous. And we have worked, or they have worked, way too hard to you know, get them distracted. After the program is over, I will hold them up here for about five minutes for you to take pictures. And then they are all yours. <laughs> if they are going to aftercare. We need to know that, all right? Um, because I assume typically most of you are here and you're taking them with you. When you leave, because it'll be before dismissal, you need to sign them out. And in the classroom right next to mine, so if you're going down the hallway, mine's on the right-hand side, the next classroom is the costume classroom. All these costumes, just take them off, just fold them up, and you can just neatly put them on the tables. And if the moms that were here and my moms that helped them dress, if you would just show them where our things are, that would be great. Okay? They are packed up. They are ready to go. All right? We are ready. All right, kindergarten, are you ready? All right. And this is our gift to Jesus for his birthday. In Nazareth, in Galilee, in a small and humble house, a carpenter named Joseph lived. And Mary was his spouse. Long in his workshop, Joseph toiled, and little rest he had. For the Romans ruled his conquered land, and life was hard and sad. One day, the Roman emperor set forth a new decree. Each person must to their birthplace go and taxed and counted be. Joseph and Mary, hearing this, set out by early morn for Bethlehem, where it was told the Savior would be born. The trip was long, the way was rough, and the winds blew cold about. And when they came to Bethlehem, they both were tired out. When Joseph reached the first small inn, he knocked upon its door. The innkeeper said, The inn is full, the room for no more. When Joseph reached the second inn, he knocked upon its the door. The inn is full, the room for no more. <laughs> when Joseph reached the third small inn, he knocked upon its door. but pointed them.
to a stable bear. Then Joseph found the stable bear. And in that place forlorn, warmed by the breath of a lamb, a calf, and a dove. The holy child was born. Some shepherds Some shepherds in a distant field were guarding their flocks by night. When suddenly, a shining star blazed with heavenly light. The angels angels of the Lord appeared With news of joy for them, Jesus, your King, is newly born, a babe in Bethlehem. Led by the star, the shepherds walked. <coughs> to find the stable bear where they adored the infant king laid in the manger there. The shepherds left to spread the news, and it was heard afar by three wise men. who from the east came following the star. The three wise men then journeyed on, still following the light, They found the child, and they worshipped him with all their heart and might. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus.
are now going to recite the night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And the stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. Nest up and they're all snuck in their beds and wild visions and sugar plums and they dance on their heads. Mom in the cushion and I my cat they should settle down in a long winter's nest. Run out on the lawn, carols, such a fire. I jumped out of my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the windows, I flew up the flash, I tore up in the shards, I threw the sash. The moon of the west of the new forward snow, the Viesta of midday about just below. But what to my wonder in a manger's lay, I should appear, but manger's lay a time the reindeer. With a little old dad is so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than he could, his coursers they came. He whistled, he shouted, and called them by name. top of the porch to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As jolly as that before the hay clang fly, they meet before an obstacle to a mountain to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then as we go out of the room, planting a palm with east loom hoof. As I drew my head, he was turning around, I went to reach it, you could just get off the bed. He would dress all for to his head, to his foot, with all toys, ashes, and soot. A bundle of toys, he he flung on his back. He looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his glow was a mouse was drawn like a bell, and the beer on his chin was as white as the snow. A stout bed of pipe, he all tightened his teeth, and a smoke circle was head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a ball of joy. He was jolly and pump, a very old jolly elf. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. The wink of his eye and the twist of his head, she gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a little, but went straight to his work. He filled all the stockings and turned with sage And laying his finger alongside his nose and giving an eye up the chimney, he rose. He prayed. He prayed for his faith. He tinkled and whistled the way of fruit. Distal. I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. All right, we have some songs we're going to sing for you. The first one is called If I Were a Butterfly.
next song is a French Christmas carol called Il est né. songs are traditional Christmas carols.
And then just make sure you see either Mrs. Frozier or myself so we know you're taking them. Uh, don't forget tomorrow is breakfast and a noon dismissal. Thank you, God bless, and have a beautiful holiday. You're good, it's over. And you did great, and you got